Welcome to a quick guide to help you get started fitting Oticon Open hearing aids. In the next few minutes, you will be guided through a typical fitting flow with steps and tools, which will help you to give your client the best possible fitting. Begin by selecting your client from the NOAA database or from client in the Genie standalone software. If using the Genie 2 standalone, select client. Select the specific individual or add an individual by clicking on new client. Fill in the desired client information and save. For Genie 2 standalone, the audiometric information must be entered under audiogram. Once entered, Save the information. After selecting your client, click the Family icon in the navigation pane to continue. Open and close the battery doors of the hearing aids for detection with Fitting Link 3.0 and click Detect or attach the hearing aids to cables with Flex Connect and click Detect. On the other hand, if you only need to simulate a hearing aid fitting, just click the desired hearing aid. In the selection step, you can see the options available for the hearing aids and gain access to personalization, one of the most important steps in an Oticon fitting. Once detected by the programmer, the hearing aids appear in the selection screen. In this screen, you can view the style of hearing aid, power of receiver, features, and acoustics. On the personalization screen, it is possible to custom build the most optimal starting point for the fitting based on your client's hearing preferences. Hearing aid experience, gender, and age can easily be entered. Information put in Genie 2 standalone or in NOAA will carry over into the personalization screen. The information entered here allows the different rationales to use this information to create the most optimal starting point. Because individual listening preferences vary, Genie 2 features a personalization process that includes questions to better capture your client's sound preferences. These questions are based on the hearing loss and experience level you have entered for your client. For best results, Present the sound sample for each question through headphones or via loudspeakers. Once the personalization is completed, the information it contains will impact the prescription and settings for Open Sound Navigator, Soft Sound Perception Control, Brightness Perception Control, Automatics, and Adaptation Manager. In the fitting screen, each can be fine-tuned to more accurately meet individual preferences. The personalization screen only needs to be updated when the experience level changes or when there are changes to the audiometric data. Based on the hearing loss and the selected style of hearing aid, the acoustics and coupling to the ear is selected by default. When the earpiece is changed, the simulated gain curve is re-prescribed to reflect the changes in order to match the acoustics of the earpiece. Notice that the target does not change. This is to show how different acoustic solutions affect the fitting and for better correlation with external REM equipment. To make a closer target match, the earpiece can be changed or adjustments to the response in the fitting screen can be made. Keep in mind that a perfect target match may not be what your client prefers. In the fitting screen, the defaults for gain, output, and automatics can be changed or verified. 
Fine tuning is the first area in the fitting screen. Here you can fine tune the hearing aid bands at different input levels. Adjustments to fine tuning can be made in the control boxes that are selected. The soft sound perception control is used to adjust the gain for soft speech above 1.5 kHz. The knee points will change for soft sound based on the individual's preference. For comfort, a higher knee point, or for detail, a lower knee point. Brightness perception control changes the high frequency gain above 1.5 kHz for all levels in 1 dB increments. Notice when adjustments are made, the status bar blinks green. This means that every time an adjustment is made, it is automatically and instantly saved in the hearing aids. If you happen to lose the connection to the hearing aids, you therefore never risk losing important adjustments or settings. To undo any adjustments, just click on the arrows on the toolbar. The three-step adaptation manager helps your client gradually adjust to the full prescribed setting of the hearing aid. Steps 1 and 2 provide a milder response with less gain and more compression as compared to the full prescribed setting in Step 3. The adaptation step selected by Genie 2 is linked to the information from the experience level in personalization. Step 1 is automatically selected for an experience level of none. The Open Sound Navigator represents a brand new way of thinking about and working with sound. The simple user interface allows adjustments for directionality and noise reduction in simple to complex listening environments based on your client's preferences. A simple environment has low-level background noise such as a fan or a quiet cafe, and a complex environment has high-level background noise, such as traffic or a busy restaurant. Adjustments for the Open Sound Navigator are made in Umatic LX in the Open Sound Transition and Noise Reduction Controls. Open Sound Transition manages how the hearing aid behaves between simple and complex environments. It is initially set based on your client's information in the personalization. The selection choices are low, medium, and high levels of help from the hearing aid. For example, when choosing high, the hearing aid will activate at a lower environmental sound level and signal-to-noise ratio in order to reduce unwanted sounds, even if the environment is not yet complex. In the noise reduction controls, Adjustments to noise reduction are divided into noise reduction simple and noise reduction complex for different types of environments. Default settings are based on answers to personalization questions in the personalization screen or will default to a level in the middle of the noise reduction range. Moving the indicator to the right increases the noise reduction meaning your client will have more help from the hearing aid. Moving it to the left decreases it, meaning your client will have less listening support from the hearing aid. As a default, Open Automatic is selected to activate Open Sound Navigator, but other options can be selected, such as Full Directionality and Pin It Omni. Noise reduction is on because it is an integral part of the open sound experience, but it can easily be deactivated by unchecking the box on the lower left. Feedback analysis is always recommended for the measurement of the feedback margin and is the perfect tool to analyze the risk of feedback for each individual. The graph illustrates the predicted feedback margin in the shaded area before the analysis. The predicted feedback margin is determined based on the audiogram, fitting algorithm, style of hearing aid, venting, and the current acoustic coupling. This shaded area will change to the individual's actual feedback margin 
after the test is complete. A noise level indicator indicates if background noise levels are acceptable for valid and true measurement, ensuring a high quality analysis. The feedback analysis takes 10 seconds and is presented at a comfortable loudness level, which is hearing loss dependent. The test sound is a broadband sound that starts at a lower level and increases to the test level, making it more comfortable for your client. The feedback analyzer can be run in one or both ears at the same time. A step-by-step -step guide shows the measurement from start to finish. Green means a successful test, and red means that it should be run again. Once analyzed, the feedback margin area turns a solid color. The graph then shows an overview of how much gain is provided with the chosen style, coupling, and venting. The measured feedback margin will remain in place, but it is possible to adjust the gain up or down in 1 dB steps. Click Undo to remove analyzed feedback margins and gain settings applied in the current feedback analyzer session. This will restore the feedback margins and gain settings that were in use when you entered feedback analyzer. The program manager screen contains information pertaining to the programs. General and telephone programs can be chosen. By clicking on the drop down arrows, the rationales available for the hearing aid are displayed. The end fitting screen is the last screen in the fitting process. Here it is possible to verify the fitting as well as adjust settings for buttons, indicators, and accessories. In the buttons and indicators screen, under the operate push button tab, you'll find the program, volume, and mute buttons, which are on by default. The binaural coordination is on if two hearing aids are connected and binaural broadband is activated on the automatic screen. Accessories are paired outside of Genie 2. The paired accessories show up in this area. Pairings and adjustments can be made for the iPhone, TV adapter, and phone programs. By clicking on the Save and Exit button, a pop-up screen indicates that the programming information will be saved in the database, either the NOAA or Genie 2 standalone. The hearing aids are alerted that the session is complete and the data logging record as well as the adaptation manager are activated in the hearing aids. If you need extra help or information, the help files and the instructional videos are available in the Genie 2 software. Thank you for your attention. Please feel free to contact your Oticon representative if you have any further questions. Thank you for your time.